business studies, business management, she proceeded to study in her 40s to attain board degrees in early learning and then masters in youth studies. And this woman started a daycare in her home in Manchester. I was there when I just arrived in the UK so many years ago. And she wasn't satisfied with this. She wanted to do more. She went on to open two early learning centers in Sierra Leone. One of them I know is in Coco Cross and the other one is in Wellington. And she opened two primary schools and then she went on to Liberia where our mothers came from and she opened a primary school and a nursery in Liberia. And she's not going to stop there, I know, because she is a woman full of persistence which is something we acquire from our parents. Trust me on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, this woman came all the way from Manchester to receive this award, which is an outstanding contribution to education, not just here, but in Sierra Leone. We don't forget. We try and say we don't find out say, the best time for a college begin for Lango, now from where he born to age seven. If you don't get to begin interested in book by age seven, trust me, you don't get to get open anything. So she is making a very good contribution, and for that reason, Afro Arts Production want to appreciate her tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the award for outstanding contribution to education to Mrs. Selonet Kaba. My big sister, the celebrity.
I'd like to introduce a prominent man in the community. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, he's made a pledge earlier, but he's one of our biggest sponsors. Please welcome to present the next award, Mr. Reginald Cole, the businessman. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Reginald Ford is here to present the award to an organization that sprung up recently in the community and since then they've done very well in terms of organizing events in the community and their charity work. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Family United for Outstanding Contributions. Outstanding Contributions to the to the world. Family United. Thank you. 
Thank you. May God guide you and bless you abundantly. My purpose tonight is to thank and dedicate this hour to our supporters, to our families, to our sympathizers, to our donors, to our sponsors, and most importantly, most importantly, to some individuals in this community who has been there for us since the beginning. Please permit me to mention some of their names. To our beautiful sister, I start to say Jango. Thank you. To one of the most handsome men in this community and in this audience, Lamin Kosto Drami. Thank you. And to one of the architects of this show, one of the brains behind all of these wonderful events, the MC, one MC of tonight, the legendary Alan Simmons. Thank you. To our beneficiaries, the less privileged men and the disabled of Thomas Harlow, we promise we will strive importantly to meet your needs. Thank you, Afwat. Thank you, Family United. Thank you to all of you who have been supporting us. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for Family United. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Before I forget, um, Family United will be coming with Sheikh Baba and Bigo on the 30th of November. So, save that date, the same place, same venue, and time is from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. You will have the opportunity to see the legendary Australian artists, the old schools. So, save that date, 30th of November. Family United will be coming with Sheikh Baba and Bigo. In the talk of Sheikh Baba and Bigo for you too. Let's go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I believe the truth is ready to present the next award. To introduce the next award. And ladies and gentlemen, to present the award, I would invite, well, the stock recently of empowering women. Well, if you are looking for a woman by the cause, in fact, she defines the power in women. The social campaign, and ladies and gentlemen, my friend, Mrs. Jennifer MB to present the next award, ladies and gentlemen. Before Katrina introduces, uh, introduces the award, I just want to say if you're a woman in this audience tonight and you're looking for that forceful womanly power, here's your girl, Jennifer.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, can we give them a round of applause, please? Dr. Lansbury. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Lansbury is one of Africa's top intellectuals. He's written many, many academic material on peace in Africa. And we're glad to have him here today. And he is Sierra Leone's representative at the United Nations in Switzerland and Sarah Lewis, I Commissioner in Switzerland. Can we give him a round of applause, a round of applause for this one more time? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've got the next award here. And this award is a very special one. It is special because um, it is coming not in fact from any recommendations from members of the public or members of the community. It is coming from Afro Arts Productions. We want to give this honor to a woman we know as our elder sister. And this elder sister has matured to become our mother in Afro Arts Productions. We were just teenagers in Sierra Leone in the 19th maybe late 1980s and 1990s and trying to do the things teenage boys do and then eventually we became mature and wanted more for life but Sierra Leone is not the place where opportunities are easily come across in Sierra Leone opportunities are scarce but then we had a woman named Fatmata in the Gambia. Fatmata had two brothers amongst us. One of them is that fellow there, Jonathan, and the other one is Sammy Anthony. And Fatmata hustled away in life, literally, just to ensure our two younger brothers survived. And because she provided an opportunity for one of them to get a job in the Gambia, in one of the hotels in the country. The brother discovered plenty of other opportunities for dancers in the Gambian tourism industry. And because of that, that single gesture of fast 
and ensuring our product could survive in the Gambia, we were able to survive through her. Because Charlie and Sally ensured that every opportunity, every vacancy was filled by dancers from Serenio who were not just paid a salary to perform, but were housed, looked after, and ferried with a boss to and fro work. And so, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my colleagues at Afro Arts Production, it gives me tremendous pleasure in introducing to you this woman. She's flown all the way from Denmark to receive this special honor. We used to call her, she would kill me for calling her that now. We used to call her Effie Bloody. But now she's our mother. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Madam Mrs. In fact, Mrs. Fatmata Bojeje. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go
Thank you. Now our next recipient, I think an apology is in order, but it's not a serious apology. It's oh, just yeah. a very tricky one. I will beg, I will beg you, Nigeria. Of I just pay small attention to this next award. Really, um, as some people, very important, something very important for Sierra Leoneans to know and what it's trying to do in Sierra Leone. So please, just give Petrina a minute to say something about this person. He doesn't know it's coming up for him. Happy to 
here with us for a minute. She's the CFO of UC Miami CEO. Got to drink pharmacy, as we all know, in a sub region, kind of medication, so in Leone, Guinea, Liberia, the whole South Sahara. 40% medications that are counterfeit. So we guarantee you we can have authentic medications from the Tree Pharmacy. 100% medications are from the US. And, and also we have an e-commerce to do stuff online as well. And this is possible because of the school that next to me here. Darling, thank you so much. And thank you, Alphards. Thank you for this opportunity. I'd like to say congratulations for the very day, and this is just a pleasant surprise to me. Keep on doing the good work this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a surprise to me, this is a new surprise. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Fuad Sharif. Dr. Fuad Sharif. And so you have it there. If you've got your family back home and you're looking for a proper medicine, medicine that is real, medicine that is not fake, all you have to do is go online and check Cotton Tree Pharmacy. You're able to actually buy the drugs online and send them, and so buy them online and Cotton Tree Pharmacy can deliver them wherever your relative lives. Or the relative can just come to the pharmacy at Sackers Clinic Streets at the Free Tower and collect the drugs themselves. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, to present the next award, I cannot say this often enough, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever we do, whatever beautiful productions you see from us is only possible because we do have very generous members of the community who are interested in doing things better. And what we do is execute whatever hopes they do have for some of you on the community in the UK. And one such person tonight, ladies and gentlemen, who's been a real cornerstone for Afro Arts Productions. Every year, consistently, one of our biggest girls. Please welcome to present the next award, Mr. Abu Mansare. Ladies and gentlemen, 
He is my show business mentor. He's grown all the way from the United States. Please welcome the founder of the Solomon Dances, Lucifer Babi Sisse. Yes. He's a graduate of John Hopkins University. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friend, Mustafa Sisebari. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, more so, I would really, really like to thank Afro Art Production for what they do. This is really, really beautiful. Raising funds for more of us at Cotter just here that are about to be back to peace. So let's put our hands together for Afro Art Production. Like she was saying, I mean, we did some stuff when we were really, really kids. For example, when I first went to talk to Mr. Bonaparte, I think I might now be 17 and a half. I said, sir, I want to take it on tour to Panama Kerama and go. I said, uh, who's talking? Did you come with your dad? I said, no, I'm not going to go. But those days, I would like to thank people like Captain Achiama, and we don't know about Stevie. Those were the elders that were behind us. I was sponsoring and I was providing finance to take those university stuff. Once again, I really, really like to thank the Apple Art, and we should do more for our dear CMO. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, to present the next award, please welcome Mr. Kennedy. The very dark of Mr. Kennedy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great sponsor of ours, Mr. Kennedy. Our next recipients are a charity organization, and what they've been doing in Serena is building schools, developing infrastructures in the village.
everybody. So on behalf of Taupo Association UK, we are extremely grateful to offer that production for this wonderful, wonderful award. And it just proves that uh, it's good to dream, ladies and gentlemen, because in 2003, we came up with an idea of supporting communities back home in Sierra Leone. And I remember we used to hold meetings in our small little places and we used to make donations. And gradually, bit by bit, we started doing things back home from donating school books for libraries of primary schools to donating building materials. And eventually, in 2016, we building a primary school in a village called Masori that's outside Waterloo. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to say that our school is functioning. We've got classes from class one, one to class six, and we are officially opening the school in December. So please join us if you are going to be friends on Sierra Leone. Um, we couldn't have done this on our own, obviously. We've got so many supporters, well wishers, and I'm hoping that you, you will join us again in our fundraising dinner in that on 7th of November this year. Ladies and gentlemen, we are extremely proud of what we do and we believe that knowledge is power and we are trying to do the best that we can give back to the community. So on behalf of my colleagues here, the members of the Taubman Association UK, we are extremely grateful to you and thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our local organization UK. Let's give them a round of applause here. And to present the next award, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a beauty from Yegema Town. She's here. Miss Sri Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give her a round of applause. To present the next award, Miss Sri Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just seen our open air organization. The next award tonight, and please, ladies and gentlemen, I'll remind you again, we are breezing through the awards, and so we can get enough time to dance uninterrupted. So please bear with us as we do that. The next award, ladies and gentlemen, I think the people from the Serenium High Commission will be very happy because. Too often we make the mistake of thinking, I hear this all the time, I'm thinking, well, the Serena community, this the community that beat it. I'm thinking to myself, but who's responsible for defining the scope of this community? How do we know that Pekka is the Serena community? It is such a myth. And so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a group here, they're doing very well in the West Midlands. So what I'm trying to say is these guys, first of all, last December, there was a huge, massive snow in Birmingham City. And they volunteered themselves and their cars to ensure that vital staff get to work safely. And on top of that, they organized the community in the Midlands in such a way that if you have a child, if you have a bereavement, if you're getting married, they ensure that they not just support you morally, but they give you financial support. Ladies and gentlemen, they're here tonight for outstanding contribution to community cohesion. Please welcome one Salon Birmingham, ladies and gentlemen. One Salon Birmingham are here.
A special announcement stand the wait is here at the table for us, please. Can we have the table spare, please? That includes not the ones on the street. To present the next award, we we'll invite one of our key figures today, Mr. Sahid Jaffa Kamara. We we'll invite Mr. Abdul Abbas Kamara.
we are about to acknowledge the great work that this group has done for us over the years. I cannot even begin to tell you how entertaining this group has been to myself as a child back in Sierra Leone. But here's what's important. They brought that entertainment and culture with them to the United Kingdom. And for the past 10 years, they haven't just kept that culture within the community. They have also established that culture to the wider black and UK community. And by this I mean, for the past 10 years, Pablo has been representing Sierra Leone at the annual carnival at Nottingham. And they have done a great job. And for this reason, we are acknowledging them tonight. Outstanding contribution to music and entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, we are bringing here on the stage for you.
As we all know, Sengailong party is all about culture. You know, and we call on all the Sengailongs to join me. I love to celebrate the culture, you know. And we will go on and tell a big time to you to offer my to recognize me and the community. And the community, be an action of all of them and this party will join me. It's not completely over the lady.
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, I'm going to put all of you guys on the test. Remember when I was there a moment ago, I asked you something, right? So, how is everybody feeling tonight? See? I'm not going to I'll skip this time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you the most sensational performance of the century. I would like to introduce to you with all powers, best than me by the Almighty God, the boys themselves, Afro Arsenal Eyes. Let's give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. DJ, let's get some music. The boys are here.
Russian. Everybody helps. We are the Russian for Gaza and the Gambia for Paul. That is the Italian person. That is the Russian.
that we invite the Serenian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Mrs. Agnes Uba Macaulay, to the honors. And to introduce the award, ladies and gentlemen, I'll introduce a star of the Secret Spirit, a Serenian Fig Star, Mr. Collins Archibius. But ladies and gentlemen, can I just inform you that Mr. Reginald Cole has just donated to the Afro Arts Fund for the honor of giving children's hospital a check of 500 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give a round of applause please? 500 pounds for Mr. Reginald Cole. And in fact, somebody wants to make a donation, I believe, from the Tawopane group. The Tawopane group wants to make a donation. Yes. Yes. The Tawopane group are making a donation to Afro Arts. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I said this is all something earlier. We are a very small association. We just obviously try and decide to make sure we have people in the same way. Uh, but obviously this is a very good cause. So as a result, we obviously raised 100 pounds to donate to us this year today. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a very round of applause for you for the top of the representative, the sum of 100 pounds. And ladies and gentlemen, to introduce the final award of the night, I'll introduce Nollywood star, Mr. Collins Achilles. Wow, 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 wow. Hello? Hi. Are you having fun tonight? Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, um, I've only got to go now, here. Yeah. Hello? I'm only going to move on, so please be patient with me. Get out, don't you? I can tell everyone is having a good time. He's having a good time. Say hi! I love you. Okay, now, we've got this award that's going to be the show of it, who's made an impact. You know, not only in Sierra everywhere people is in fact, I have to call you a changer. Can you call Nelson and Sally Bogo for me? Nelson and Sally Bogo, come up here. Come up here, Nelson and Sally Bogo.
move God in our way. Building the wall, the railway wall. His songs. I repeat his songs. We are sung all the neighbor towns. All the neighbor towns. They were so enticed. They were so sensitized that that actually helped to be busy in Sierra Leone. Am I right? I'm telling you, I know what about this song. I don't want to take your time. What I want to do right now, last time I said, Mora has been touring the whole of and everywhere, Europe, America, you name it, just for people to know that Sierra Leone has got time. He's not going to work for us. So he deserves what is going to be coming next. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to talk too much, but last time I have done a lot that anywhere he goes, people salute him. People who didn't even spread their damage for him to walk on. That's the man, the legend himself. Round of applause for us and I said, Lord, please. Thank you. Keep clapping, keep clapping, please, please, please. Thank you. Now I'm going to hand over to my Excellency to do the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last performance for the evening. 
or should I say the moment after this, we are going to dance, dance, and dance. I'm doing it in the yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, after certain vocals performance, you are welcome to come right on the stage down there and dance. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the legend of Scandal Music, Sandy Bobo. And my manager is Mr. Jesse. Rest to you, my brother. I want to shake your hand. Come on, you don't know, you don't know what thing. Mr. Jesse, stop it. When I go to America, I begin making a seminar in the Spanish language. Now, in the last few years, I will be a seminar. I will be like that.